Is this the Aventus killer to rule them all? Hey, fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video that is about this Explorer by Mont Blanc. Now, this is a very popular fragrance. I'm sure you've already heard about this and you've probably already heard about Mont Blanc. <laughs> Mont Blanc has, of course, a famous watch and pen line, uh, but they also have, of course, a great fragrance line, or at least some of their fragrances are really good. And this is one that has made waves in recent years and is definitely one of their good ones. If you're following Mont Blanc with their fragrances, you probably know about Individual, which is kind of a, uh, a scent that is very reminiscent of of original Santal by Creed, or maybe original Santal is reminiscent of that. There's a lot of speculation. I know original Santal apparently came out afterwards. I think original Santal is better. And if you've watched any reviews or videos about Explorer already, you know that this is compared to Aventus by Creed. Now this came out well after Aventus has been released. This came out in 2019. So I think this is interesting because I don't know if it's their way of getting back at Creed <laughs> or what. I don't know. I don't know the whole story behind this, but I want to kind of talk about what this scent is like. Now, a few years ago, I made a video about Aventus Killers, and I went over different styles of fragrances. Maybe you want a lighter style fragrance of Aventus, or maybe you want a more boutique version. Maybe you want one that's lighter or cheaper or different things like that. In that video up there on Aventus Killers, I go over many different versions of that. I think that's a very helpful video, and I really like that video a lot. This was released after I made that video, and if I made the video now, this, was, this would definitely be in the video. First of all, let me just talk about this bottle, because this bottle is fire. It looks kind of like an inkwell. If you're familiar with Mont Blanc pens, with their fountain pens, it definitely looks like an inkwell. Very detailed, very ornate. I really like the bottle a lot. Now, let's get to the scent real fast. Now, this has pretty good performance on me. Not spectacular, but it's pretty good. It is a very good price point. As for occasions, I think anytime you think of Aventus, wear this. This is definitely riding on the coattails of Aventus. Spring, summer, um, I think this works great as casual. It's very professional, I think. Now the notes in this are pretty interesting because they're not exactly like what Aventus is. This is bergamot, pink pepper, clary sage, vetiver, leather, ambroxan, akigala wood, patchouli, and cacao pod. Now I definitely do not get any cacao pod in this. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not sure if I get many of the other things in here. There's definitely bergamot in this, um, maybe a little bit of pepper, definitely ambroxan in this, and maybe a little bit of patchouli in this. The other things I think are just kind of mixed in there uh, with the blend. Now, I think many people are considering Explorer as an alternative to Aventus. So I want to kind of compare the two real quick and see how they stack up. Right away, when I smelled this, I was instantly reminded of Aventus. I mean, it instantly smelled like that. And I smelled this, you know, a couple of years ago, back before there was any hype on this, and it instantly just reminded me of that. So there's something to be said right away of just the memory of Aventus right away without dissecting any notes, without going into who says what, it instantly reminds me of Aventus. That said, it doesn't remind me 100% of Aventus. If you watched my video recently on the 10th anniversary bottle of Aventus, in that video, I talked a lot about how it is very similar to Aventus, but there was something that was changed with it. At that time, I bought a sample of Aventus from Creed's website, and it smelled like the Aventus that I have, which is older Aventus, not the 10th anniversary, but the 10th anniversary smelled different. It had a little bit of a more of a, a fruity type of smell, a little bit greener, and a little bit a more musky type of thing, and it was missing some of that kind of darker leather smoky type of thing that the original one had. This smells almost identical to me to that 10th anniversary version of Aventus, which is to say that it smells good. It smells very much in that Aventus realm and that style, but it's not as powerful. It's not as masculine. It's not as beefy as the original Aventus is. Like the 10th anniversary of Aventus, this is missing that smoky, beefy, uh, birch, leathery type of thing that is in there that to me really makes Aventus powerful and masculine. So for me, what makes Aventus special is not the fact that it has pineapple, it's not the fact that it's fresh, it's not the fact that it has ambergris in it. To me, what makes Aventus so good is the mix between the fruity citrusy thing and that dark thing that is in the heart. That darkness really is special and it adds something to the mix of Aventus that separates it above anything else out there. But that is the part that most people in fragrances that are trying to be similar to Aventus, that is the part that they miss. And that is the part that always separates itself from 
Aventus. Everyone's looking for pineapple as the key Aventus note, but it's not. Pineapple is kind of like a bait and switch. There's pineapple in other things. There's apple in other things. There's bergamot in other things. The key with Aventus is that dark, leathery, birchy type of thing. This doesn't have that. To be fair, this is an excellent fragrance. I still really like this fragrance a lot for what it is, but I don't like it as necessarily a top-notch Aventus killer because it's not that. To me, I think this is an Aventus alternative. This is a type of fragrance that if you don't like that really kind of leathery, more powerful, masculine type of thing that's in the original Aventus, then go for this. If you were looking for maybe the 10th anniversary bottle of Aventus, then go for this. Um, you're probably wanting the collector's bottle, so you're missing out on that, obviously, but the scent of this, very, very similar. There's something in this that is a little bit greener, it's a little bit sweeter, and a little bit more musky. And I guess there's the ambroxan in there that is really kind of the key that's holding all that muskiness to it. I think this is an excellent fragrance that I think you're gonna like. And if you're looking for an, an Aventus alternative, personally, I think this is probably the best out there. I haven't smelled many fragrances that are as good as this for the price. It's excellent. Overall, I can really recommend Explorer. I really enjoy it. I just think that it's not gonna be the killer that you're looking for, but I think that it's gonna be pretty close and still gonna be an excellent fragrance that's gonna do you right. Definitely check out Explorer by Mont Blanc. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. So that's all I have. What do you think of Explorer? Let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Thank you again for watching. I'm David with Fragrance Bros. Bye.